Meet Camilla, a subject matter expert. She wants to help her developer colleague Josh use Watson Discovery Service to create apps and IT workflows that solve business problems. Josh has to analyze massive amounts of unstructured text that contains specialized terms Discovery can't understand without context, like the difference between crash in a car accident report and crash in the financial industry. Camilla can help Josh by creating a custom model in Watson Knowledge Studio. She has the option to use a machine learning or a rule-based model that opts for machine learning. To begin, Camilla logs into her IBM Cloud account and finds Watson Knowledge Studio in the catalog. She starts by uploading documents relevant to her domain in text or CSV format, which she will later annotate. Before she annotates, Camilla creates a type system of domain-specific entities and relations. This will include entity types, which categories of objects to annotate. For example, under the entity type manufacturer, Camilla would annotate any mention of Ford, Honda, Toyota, and so on. Relation types define how two entity types are connected. She can create an owned by type to match car owners with their vehicle. Now that she has her documents and a type system, it's time to annotate. She uses the collaborative interface to pull in Josh and his team to help annotate these sample documents, marking any instances of the entity or relation types she's defined. Once the team has finished annotating, Camilla trains the machine learning model. She can even evaluate the model with built-in statistics and iterate on it as needed. Camilla can then deploy her model for Josh to use, enabling him to customize his apps to specific domains. And she has done this without a single line of code. Watson Knowledge Studio models can be deployed directly into Watson Discovery Service or Watson Natural Language Understanding or exported into Watson Explorer. IBM Watson Knowledge Studio is your end-to-end -end offering for building custom domain models. Try it today on IBM Cloud.